Okay, today we're going to dye some merino fleece. Now this is off our own merinos here at Mosley Park and it has been coated so you, there is a little bit of grease on the tips but they're not weathered like fleece often gets on the tips because they've been wearing a coat. Um, that's the length of the staple. This is about 21 micron and this has been washed. I wash this over the summertime when we have plenty of solar hot water and then I um, dye it during the winter time. To scour this fleece, I use Tantac Fibre Scour, which is an Australian made product. I soak it overnight in cold water just to get out any loose dirt or and that and swain to that. And then I wash it with very hot water uh, with the Tantac Fibre Scour in. I leave it to soak in there for probably about half an hour or so. Don't let the water get cold with the grease because it'll just re put itself onto the fibres. So it's best to take it out of that greasy water and strain most of the water off, drain most of the water off while it's still hot and then rinse it in a similar temperature water. So rinse it in hot water as well. So, okay, well I'll go and put this on to soak and I soak it in water with, I add a little bit of citric acid or vinegar to mine just to make sure it's got plenty of acid in it to set the dyes. And I also use a little bit of detergent or the fixative A, which is a surfactant to help break the surface tension and help the dyes get in better. Okay, so I'll be back to dye it. So we're back with our merino fleece to show you how it dyes with the earth palette dyes. Okay, this has only been soaking probably for about half an hour, but it's certainly wet enough to dye. It does compact a bit once it's wet, so I just like to spread it out a bit and we'll add the dye. Okay, so this is yellow. The orange. And as I've said before, because these have a the bit of a thickener in them that makes the dyes a little bit more viscous, they actually um, hang stick on the fibres a bit better rather than just all soaking through to the bottom and pooling on the bottom. This is, sorry, that was rubine. Then I've got violet. And once again, because um, it's quite cold here at the moment in the middle of winter, I will steam set these for about 15 minutes just to make sure they're warm and warm enough to set. Otherwise, in the autumn, spring and summer, I don't heat them at all. I just wrap them in the plastic and leave them outside so that they set in the room temperature. But it needs to be at least about 23 to 25 degrees to get them to set properly. Now, and then the rubine once again. As you can see, I did think about where I was putting my colors to make sure I didn't put colours together like orange and purple make a, a browny colour and um, yellow and purple and the turquoise and rubine you know just thinking about what colours the, the mix is going to make now yeah well perhaps I'll turn it over just make sure we've got enough dye on the bottom touch it up a little bit Won't need a, a lot because the colours will sort of blend into the fibres and mix into the fibres a bit as they're steaming. Okay, and we'll wrap it all up, 
put it on for 15 minutes to steam and then once it's all I just press it down a bit to make sure the dye liquor goes through it all once it's all set I will bring it back and show you what it looks like dry so this is the merino fleece we dyed and um, it's steamed and set I'll unwrap it so we only steamed it for 15 minutes because these are earth palette dyes and they generally don't need that extra heat um, the colors have mixed quite a bit which you can see but that's pretty good well, it's a bit hard to see there is a little bit of color left in it but nothing really concerning oh there's a bit of turquoise there but I think that'll be fine Okay, so I will um, spin these out, rinse them, and I'll bring them back when they're all nice and dry and fluffy. So this is our merino that we dyed. It's not dry at all. It's straight out of the um, rinse and spun, but... Um, let me see, I'll pull off a staple to show you. It's still a bit wet, unfortunately, but um, I just thought I'd bring it back to show you how it looks um, once it's been rinsed and the water spun out. And once it's dry, of course, it'll fluff up a lot more, but I will show you that tomorrow. So this is our merino fibre here, and it's mostly dry you can see like you can see on here this is the staple here that's how it's like it's dyed differently throughout it ready for carding of orange as i said this is about 21 micron and um the colors are all pretty cool so this was off our coated sheep as I said before and the coated fleeces don't tend to have the, the weathering so much at the tips and um, not so, uh, they, they have a little bit of grease at the top but that'll card off or comb off and these are ready for felting or spinning or whatever you want to do with them. You can put them in a bowl and look at them. So, okay. Now, I hope you feel um, a little bit more confident about having a go at doing a bit more of your own dyeing. And with the Earth Palette dyes, thanks for joining me. Feel free to give me a like and um, I'll be back with some more.